Well, welcome to Smokey Dog Replies, episode whatever it is. I don't know it off the top of my head. Yeah, you just look down. Look down at the title. Very simple. Um, today, we're going to be talking about fanboys. We're going to be uh, reading some comments from the Wii U fanboys and the uh, Oh Yeah fanboys. Um, from this point on, I will now be referring to the Oh Yeah fanboys as the Kool-Aid fanboys. Oh Yeah! Oh Yeah! And some guy said I mispronounced it. I don't care. I don't give a flying fuck. How do you pronounce it? It's Oh Yeah, and now it's called Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid console, Kool-Aid fanboys. Anyway, I want to begin with this comment from the Wii, this Wii U nerd. Listen to this guy. And I, I'm bear, and, and please be, please be advised that I am reading these comments the best I can. Some of the, uh, grammar and spelling is just, listen, I'm not a grammar Nazi or anything, but some of this shit is ridiculous. Some of this shit is like, holy shit, I don't even know what he's saying. Um, this guy right here, he probably don't want anything, gets all his consoles at Rena Center. And the bills do time to pay. Hulk Hosen Zolan wants his money. Uh, Hogan Hogan is an easy word to spell. Has this guy really butchered Hulk Hogan's name? I mean, uh, I'll, I'll I'll put a screenshot below of these comments. Uh, you can click the individual screen. I'll put them in order as well. So you just the first screenshot below if you'd like to see this and you try to decipher. Um, listen, fanboy nerds. And this is a Wii U fanboy, by the way. Just because someone doesn't want to buy something doesn't mean they can't afford it. Let me let me show you something, little nerd. Okay, let me show you a little something, nerd. Here's a hundred and fifty dollar HD camera. Here's a two hundred and fifty dollar Astro headset. Of course, I have a PS3. I have an Xbox 360. Um, well, let's turn around here and look at this right here. Here's my two monitors. They go to this computer that was about a thousand, yeah, about a thousand dollars. There's a eighty dollars surge protector. Of course, there's some games there. Uh, oh, there's a uh, fifty inch TV. I got a sixty inch TV downstairs, by the way, which wasn't cheap. Now you may be saying, "Well, you bought all this stuff at Rena Center?" No, no, I didn't. I did get my TV from a rental place, though, uh, simply because I wanted a big sixty inch TV. And they had it, and I just bought it there. I don't know, whatever. That's what I did. I bought it there. They offered me a hell of a deal. I don't know what we went there for something. I don't know, whatever the fuck. Uh, it was back back in the day. You see, some of you don't even know about me. I used to be very broke. I used to be a poor guy. And I used to have to go to... There's nothing wrong with rental places. You know, just because people are broke, man. Some people are broke. But uh, I'm no longer broke, my friend. So, uh, listen, I'm honest. I'm honest. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I bought my 60 t uh, 60 TV at a place called American Rental uh, way back in the day. Who cares? I bought that Samsung TV for about $750. Got a great deal from the guy at Best Buy. Um, whatever. Oh, my wife's computer's back here. I don't know how much it costs. You get the fucking point. If I wanted a Wii U, motherfucker, I'd have it right now. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. And I wouldn't have to go to fucking Rena Center. I promise you that. Rena Center's a ripoff anyway. Don't go to Rena Center. If you want to go, find a rent place that'll let you pay in, in 90 days, same as cash. If you want to, if you ever want to rent something. Just my advice, because I used to, I used to have to, that's how I used to get stuff. Uh, you know, expensive stuff. But now if I want something, I'll just go buy it, my friend. I'll just go out, and I'll just drop the cash on the counter. And I'll walk out. This computer, cash. Cash money. Cash money. This right here, cash money. Cash money. You fanboys need to stop that nonsense. Just because someone doesn't like something doesn't mean they can't afford it. Come on now. Come on now. What a loser. This guy thinks I really care. Like, I really care if he know. If, like, oh, oh, he got me. He got me. I remember when I lived in um, up in Louisville, man. Got my first job. I was 18 years old, and I was making uh, like eight bucks an hour, eight fifty an hour, something like that. And I remember, man, I never had a computer in my entire life, man. And the first thing I went, dude, I went to rent a center because I couldn't afford a computer. I couldn't go out and buy a badass computer. I rented a computer every fucking week, a badass little laptop, man. And you know, you can call it stupid all you want, man, but whatever. When you're broke. And you work your ass off and you want something, you do it. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, th this nerd here, this nerd here, probably a little kid, probably a little kid. And let me tell you something, little, little fella. One day you're going to become a grown man. 
and mommy and daddy ain't going to buy your shit anymore, and you're going to have to get a job, and you'll probably be at Renner Center. <laughs> you'll be at Renner Center. Not me. Not me. I don't have to go to Renner Center no more. But there, to anyone that has to buy your shit at Renner Center, no, it, who cares? Who cares? But you shouldn't go to Renner Center. You should go to, find, like I said, find your rental place. You can pay the cash price in 90 days, or you'll get fucking ripped off at, at your ass. Let's place a rip off. Anyway, these fucking nerds think I care. They think I care what they think about me. I'm honest, motherfucker. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, let's continue. Listen to this guy. This guy clearly loves to tongue old ladies' assholes as they have fresh warm shit coming out of their assholes while he's jerking off. Hey, brother, you need some mental help. Mental help. Get mental help. This guy, I mean, you gotta understand. Before he wrote this comment, he was picturing me licking an old woman's asshole with shit coming out while I was jerking off. Why would you want to get that mental image? So gross. So nasty. Who comes up with that shit? Anyway, let's continue here. Let's start another one. Oh, here's one. Ha ha. You're hilarious. And then he quotes me here. He quotes my video. I wouldn't buy a Wii U ever, and here's why. One, there ain't no games on it right now. After that, I just quit. You're an idiot. So when the PS4 comes out and it just has the launch lineup, you won't ever buy that too? The PS4 has a beautiful launch lineup. I can name, let's see, Watch Dogs, uh, Call of Duty Ghost. Thinking here. I'm thinking. Takes time to think. Some nerds going to be in the comments. See? There's nothing. He can't think all the time. Oh! Uh, let's see, uh, what else we got, what else we got, there's a ton of games that haven't been announced, of course, E3 is Monday, um, another one, uh, Fable 4, I'll be getting that fucking thing on that Xbox, that Fable 4, uh, ooh, I hear Dead Rising 3, I've been hearing rumors about Dead Rising 3, I like that shit, uh, let's see, what was that other game, what was that game I seen on that reveal, that, oh, Infamous, fucking Infamous, ooh, that's gonna be good, that Infamous is gonna be fucking sick, sick, the new WWE, that game's gonna be on the next gen, uh, launch at launch. Ooh, NBA Live 14. Now I know people are gonna say, "Well, you 2K, 2K." Man, I like NBA Live over 2K. I'm one of those weird guys, one of those like few people that likes NBA Live over the 2K. Just my personal taste. Hate all you want, but NBA Live is gonna be good. Um, I'm sorry, man, but the only thing Wii U has is Mario. I don't give a fuck about Zelda. I'm sorry. No, no, no offense if you like Zelda. Just never got into Zelda. Does it make me a loser? Doesn't mean I'm a fucking piece of shit. Just didn't. You? I, I, you don't like Call of Duty. I don't like Zelda. Who cares? Honestly. But there's going to be time. The PS4 launch lineup and the Xbox One launch lineup is way fucking better than the Wii U launch lineup. The Wii U didn't launch with anything but Mario because that's all they got. That's all they got. That's all I care about. I don't care. Now, what are they going to come out with another Mario party? I was talking to my buddy of mine last night. And he was like... There's only so many times you can come out with Mario Kart. You got that shit right. Anyway, come on, come on man. Come on, man. Whew. Anyway, let's move on to the Kool-Aid console fanboys. Because they're so fun. By the way, this video has 78 dislikes. There's some dude said in one of these videos, he said, This console actually has fanboys. Yes! Yes! And if you want to see them, just go to this video. Has fucking 78 dislikes. There are really, oh yeah, there's only like a hundred of them. There's only, there's gonna be like a hundred people that buy the console. You know, that's all the fanboys there is. I got a hundred fanboys, and it's just hilarious. <laughs> I've seen one of the games. I gotta get a drink, hold on. I've seen one of the games for the oh yeah. It looked like a fucking... It looked like an Atari game or some shit. It looked like a... Not, not Atari. It looked like a Super Nintendo game. I mean, that is the games. Really? That's the games I can look forward to if I drop 100 on that shit? Come on, man. We're talking about next-gen consoles. We're talking about PS4, Xbox One. We're talking about state-of-the-art graphics. Uncharted. Uh, Last of Us. Fable. Uh, you know, fucking, uh, whatever. Infamous, God of War. Grand Theft Auto 5. You're talking about a cell phone game. A game I can play on my cell phone. 
A game, I can pull out the Super Nintendo right now and play those games. Some dude was like, the emulators, the emulators, it plays emulators. My computer does too. Why would I need the Kool-Aid console? That's what I'm saying. And none of you, hey, instead of bashing me in the comments, you should be trying to sell the console to me. You should be trying to tell me why I need it. But none of you can. None of you can tell me why I should buy it. You're just bashing me because I don't want to buy it. That's not how you win customers over bashing them. Fucking idiot. Anyway, let's begin. Listen to this guy. Someone who says Minecraft has bad graphics. Never said Minecraft has bad graphics. I played. I play Minecraft. Moving on from this idiot. Pizza Pale is his name. Pizza Pale. What kind of name is that? Um, hey, what kind of name? Smokey Dog. I agree. Yeah, everybody's got stupid ass names. Listen to this guy. You just don't get it. Once again, the obvious needs to be stated to the ignorant. It isn't supposed to compete with Xbox and PlayStation. Then what's the point of it? What's the point of it? Oh, oh we're going to find out. It's built for indie gaming to build indie games on. It's for diversity in the marketplace. It's not a Treyarch poly pusher. Once again, you can bash Treyarch all you want. I don't give a flying fuck about Treyarch. I don't have stock invested in Treyarch. Okay? You can bash PlayStation. Here, oh, here's another. Let me find this fucking comment real quick. For I might have to go. Where is this comment? Let me find this comment. Where the fuck was this comment at? I think it's all, I think it's for the OEF oh yeah fanboys. Oh, I, I can't find a comment. Some dude was bashing the PS Vita. Did I talk about that yet? He like bashed the PS Vita. Hey, dude. Hey, I don't care about PS Vita. I'm not a Sony fanboy. I'm not an Xbox fanboy. Okay? You can bash PS Vita all you want. I'm not going to cry about it. Vita and DS is for little kids on the school bus. Not for grown men. I don't care about that. God, what an idiot. If you... If you're constantly outside of the house traveling around on a bus or subway or whatever or a plane, you should get a Vita or a DS or whatever. That shit's not for me. I don't need that, okay? When I'm out and about, I'm not playing games. I'm out and about doing things. You understand? Anyway, let's move on. Oh, it's built for indie games. Hey, let me tell you something, dumbass. You are, okay, you say that the Kool-Aid console is for people to develop games on. Well, if nobody buys the console, who the fuck's going to play the games? Oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, you didn't, did you, dumbass? The console has to sell and be successful, or the development of these games is pointless. It, 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 it's, it's pointless. Who's going to play them? Nobody. Nobody's going to play them. I feel bad for you guys developing for this console, because you're wasting your fucking time. Nobody's going to play it. Nobody's going to care for it except a small group of fucking nerds who are bandwagoning this shit because they hate Sony and they hate Microsoft and they're hipsters. This is a hipster console. That's all it is. So develop your games for the hipsters. Okay? I'm not a hipster. Okay? We get to be realistic here. Are you going to go buy a PS4, Xbox One, or are you going to buy the, oh yeah, Kool-Aid console? Come on now. You gonna play Grand Theft Auto 5 or cell phone games? Are you gonna play Grand Theft Auto 5 or are you gonna play emulators of old ass games that came out in the 90s? Come on, man. Come on, man. Shh. Only hipsters are getting that fucking console. Listen to this guy. They do, they do not call it fag ops for no reason, you know. Laughing my ass off. This reject would not be able to hack or mod the oh yeah if you gave him a manual. Okay, your point? I'm not a hacker. I'm not a modder. I'm not a game developer. I buy consoles to play games on. Dumbass. <laughs> Cares. Like, what am I? What am I going to get mad that you've. And once again, you're insulting Black Ops. I do that every day. I talk shit about Black Ops on this channel all the time. So continue to insult it. I'm not going to cry. Who cares? What are, what are with these idiots? Oh, listen to this guy. I, we were talking about those developers. Listen to this dude. I just, want to, I just want my experiment to work. Don't crush my dreams. I've been developing for a month now. My team is determined to make a real game and we will for it. Hey, man. You may want to stop what you're doing and move on to something else. 
Get try to develop for the PS4, or the Xbox One, or something, or develop for the PC. Because this shit is not going anywhere, dude. I'm, I'm sorry to burst your fucking dreams, but you're wasting your time. You're wasting your fucking time. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's find another dumbass comment here. Oh, listen to this guy. <laughs> Number one, it's not supposed to beat Xbox or PlayStation. It's a micro console. It's supposed to sell, dude, and it's not going to. That's called failure. Crisis 3 wasn't a failure. It was awesome. Black Ops 2 was a failure. Oh, God. Do y'all know the definition of failure? When something does not sell... Listen, any time a business releases a product, the sole purpose of that product is to sell, period. There's no other purpose for it but to sell. And if it does not sell, it's a failure. Just because you like it does not mean it's a success. You understand? If it does not sell, it's a failure. It's how business works. Okay? Do we, do we have that now? Thank you. <sighs> I just built a $1,500 PC and a second $500 PC. I won't be buying Xbox 720 or PS4 because I have PCs. I will buy one of these for the fact of mobile gaming. I'm currently on vacation in Florida, and I wish I had one for me and my bros to play. It's smaller than the big consoles, but can get the basic job of gaming done. Four, it uses phone apps, not emulators. <gasps> phone apps! Phone apps! Hipsters. Fucking hipsters. You gotta love hipsters. God damn, man. Just because something sells a lot does not mean you have to hate it, dude. Okay? I love these guys. It's popular, so it must suck. Yes, yes, yes. yes you're right. But hey, man, Black Ops 2 is a, is, a, is a fucking train wreck. I agree with you there, but uh, Crisis 3 was a failure. Okay? Black Ops 2 sold. That's, that's what it is, its intended purpose was. They put that game out to make money and sell, and it succeeded. That's a success. No matter what you think about it, it's it's a success. Just got to do it. Just got to accept it. Anyway, let's move on here. Let's see if we can die another guy. Uh, oh, you're a fucking dick. Just saying. Hey, man, I don't give a fuck what you think. Whatever. I'm a dick. Hey, more power to me. The this is this guy. The oh yeah will get popular for the emulators. They're already on computer. Emulate. God, you really think emulators are going to sell a console? God, are these people stupid? <laughs> Woo! God, man, I got these dudes mad. Mad, I got them so mad. Anyway, this video's been so long, man. I don't want to make you sit here forever, but these reply videos are, are long videos just because you got to talk, you got to read these comments and reply to them. Here's one more. Let's do one more and then we'll end it. From someone who re repairs consoles, I can say that oh yeah doesn't have many of the problems that Sony and Microsoft has. Because no DVD drive, hard drive, processors overheating, plus on a hardware stand, Nintendo builds the best systems, period. Failure rate is low. Also, the number one console of all time is Nintendo Wii. So, so Smokey, Mr. Smokey Dog 7, what console do you like? I like whatever console has the games that I like on them. And at this moment, I'm a PS3 guy right now. I mean, that's what I play the most uh, because it has the uh, the games I like to play on it and my all my friends play on it. I have an Xbox 360. I uh, don't really play on it a lot. I used to play Xbox a lot, but uh, I just switched to P PlayStation. Uh, I don't have any allegiance to consoles. I'm not a fanboy. I don't uh, – I'm not a nerd. I'm not a nerd fanboy. I just – I play what I like, you know. I'll be buying an Xbox One and a uh, PlayStation 4 just because I, uh, there's a Fable 4. I mean, if you want to know why I'm buying an Xbox One, Fable 4. If you want to know why I'm buying a PlayStation 4, uh, Infamous. Uh, there's going to be an Uncharted game, no doubt about that. Uh, the sequel to Last of Us is going to be amazing, I'm sure. Uh, let's see, what else I got? Uh, what's some other exclusives? You, you get the fucking point. You get the goddamn point. Plus, all my friends are going to be playing it. That's my thing, man. I really just get with my, if my friends all got it, I'll probably pick it up to play with them. 
you know, if, if they got games on it that I want to play. It comes down to games and what are my friends playing on, you know? Because when I, you know, if I'm buying a multiplayer game, I want to be able to play with people I know, you know what I'm saying? So that's just how it is. Uh, you're talking about the no DVD drive, no hard drive, dude. Listen, uh, that's not a success in 2013. You know, people, people, it's just not, it's just, it's just not going to be successful, man. It's just not going to be a successful console. Just get, get it through your thick fucking skull. I don't know what more I can say. This shit is doomed for failure. They're going to be in the McDonald's parking lot for E3, okay? Nintendo ain't even holding a conference anymore. That's failure, my friend. Okay? Nintendo didn't pull out of their E3 press conference because don't believe what they said. Don't believe what these corporations tell you, Microsoft, Sony, any of them. They pulled out because the Wii U looks like a fucking fail compared to the PS4 and the Xbox One. It can't compete with the technology and the advancements of these consoles. And to put that console up against these two and hold a press conference, they would have been laughed at. They did the smart thing and they pulled out. Kool-Aid console's in the parking lot. It's not even in the building. I mean, that's failure, man. Sorry. Sorry. But I'm honest. I'm gonna, my, my subscribers count on me to be honest and real with them. And I'm not going to come on here and bullshit them. That oh yeah bullshit is a failure. It's a fucking failure. Failure, failure, failure. Got to accept it. You know, I, you know, I'm not saying that it's 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 gonna it's meant to compete with Xbox because it's not. It's not gonna compete with Xbox at all. But to say that it's not meant to be a success and not meant to sell, that's stupid. What's the point of it? Just for people to develop games on. If like I said, if nobody buys a console, what the fuck's the point of developing the games? Anyway, that's the Smokey Dog Replies video for today. I don't know when I'll do another one. Uh, you know, as my channel gets bigger, and I mean, you guys are free to send questions to me if you want. I'll answer them on these things. I'd like to do one of these every week, but the thing is, I just, you know, it just depends on if I got a ton of comments on to reply to. And uh, like I said, man, if people would send me questions, hey, man, that would make it a lot easier. So if you, if you have anything you want to ask me, feel free to do so via Twitter or YouTube message, whatever, and if I get anything, uh, I'll do one of these next week. Anyway.